Rapture 2. I'm receiving your signal. Transmission secure. Nice to have you on a world with modern holonet transceivers. You're coming in loud and clear, Cypher 9. Nice to know something is going right. Ever the optimist. Nar Shaddaa is one of the most densely populated city worlds in the galaxy. It's also a major trade hub for criminals and corporations. That's why the terrorists are here. The local cell procures weapons and technology for the Eagle's entire network. What kind of technology? Everything from state-of-the-art computer equipment and starship parts, to adrenals and combat armor. These terrorists aren't thugs. They're intelligent, coordinated, and well-hidden. I've contacted an asset who claims he can help locate them. He's a former operative of ours, effective in his day. When he had to be retired, he was redesignated Watcher X. What do you mean by had to be retired? Watcher X was one of our most capable analysts, but he became paranoid, prone to seeing connections and conspiracies where none existed. He was judged unstable and confined to Shadow Town, a Narshadar slum rebuilt as an open prison. It's where the Empire holds people who know too much. People we might need later. That's all I'm authorized to say. If I'm risking my life, I'd like to know what's going on. I'm sorry, but you don't have the security clearance. Shadow Town residents are fitted with motion tracking implants set to explode if they escape. This should keep Watcher X under control. Nonetheless, don't underestimate him. Watcher 2 out. Step inside. Scan the apartment for important things. Overt threats, escape routes, access terminals. Take your time. Now, look again. Scan for concealed weapons, hiding places. Anything innocent is probably a bug. Anything you don't recognize should be analyzed later. Play the game. I can wait. What are you talking about? The systems of Imperial intelligence. The training. Be vigilant. Because if you aren't, you die. Got a lot of brass for someone living in filth. You're a cipher agent. Specializations in disguise, seduction, infiltration, assassination. You're brave to come to Shadow Town. This could be your future. A bomb in your head, trapped here like a criminal. Stop stalling and start helping. Now. Of course. Watcher 2, my sister in the eugenics program, told me what you need. You know that the Eagle's terrorists are using Narshadar as a supply hub, but I imagine you don't know their latest scheme. The terror cell is on the verge of acquiring mass quantities of a new genetic modification serum, Cyclone. They plan to distribute it across the Eagle's network. How do you find that out? Stray holonet transmissions, murmurs in the underworld. Cyclone increases a user's speed and focus, transforming an average human into a natural assassin. It's also lethal, a minor defect. We need to learn who created the serum and find their link to the terrorists. You must obtain a sample, a cyclone dose or a user's blood specimen. Maybe you want the cyclone for yourself. If I want to assassinate someone, I won't need a serum. There's an augmentation shop in the Corellian sector, a place people go for fast, dangerous modifications. Purchase the cyclone there. I can give you an injection to mimic the effects of long-term genetic damage. You'll be slower and weaker, but you'd make a convincing cyclone buyer. I assume the effects are temporary. It should only last a short time, long enough for you to get to the shop. I suggest you avoid excessive violence while affected, however. Now, do you want the injection or not? I'll take my chances without the injection. As you like. Probably the smart choice. Too bad. Wonder what he would have done to you. Get to the shop. Get me my cyclone or my blood. Then we find the link to your terrorist enemies. Gahal Ravul Azjan Ujwet Untumata. Zakazag Urgelu Kwal Kunkas Urtumur Nula Uma. Juguhu Zuza Haga. Noexa Nunsa Bahala. Ulkulta Mete Judir for Pusuna Jormulu O Kaleg. There must be some mistake. I'd love to know what you have to offer. Uktar Rusin Temet Wasal. 
kwandu vu zet nebzepsi un kwet zo luzutu otsulu metau. Lu turela vu sa. Rugel afna mul konfu esez kwenu unsu sposu. Luzatu mon zu sunjal usublu lu. La zatu mon zu luzem pretenden un tuma kwen. Uma ormal omentu gorastuk. Get up against the wall. I need to search this place. Lu ujipulu tunku muhaba ukunet mejeb bala. Wara bulged statuld dun unmod tatolle ranza tuega. I'll go. After I give you something to remember me by. Levantuta neze du jong le wabendo le bon. Jun stabu, fu kwa lan kwa, petzan na huara. This is Watcher X. I've been waiting for your call. I assume you have my cyclone specimen. Was there any trouble at the augmentation shop? Did you admire their work? I saw what went on in there. Crude, but inspired. Not as artful as what the Empire did to me. Not as skillful as what they did to Watcher 2. Now, we need to analyze the specimen. Figure out where Cyclone comes from. We'll need equipment I can't buy in Shadow Town. There's an abandoned medical laboratory in the Duros sector. If armed refugees haven't stripped it bare, you can run the analysis at the lab's bioscan. What happens once I get the analysis? You send the results to me. Then I think about Cyclone's connection to the terrorists. I'm very good at thinking. Hello again, Cypher. I'm seeing everything the Bioscan sees. Genetic bonding agents, molecular webs. Pure. Perfect. Take Cyclone and it becomes you. I'm going deeper now, Cypher. Looking for a signature to tell us who the artist is. Curious? I'll play along. What have you found? I have a corporate match. Cyclone's coding process is registered to Sinchet Industries. Sinchet used to manufacture droids, food supplements, medical supplies. But Sinchet declared bankruptcy five years ago. The company is gone. Someone else must be using their technology. Sinchet, a dead company, is connected to Cyclone. Cyclone is connected to the terror cell. We need more. I'm finding one former Sinchet executive currently on Nar Shaddaa. He left the company just before it dissolved. Question him about Sinchet. We need to know what happened to their resources, whether they had terrorist connections. Shouldn't be hard to interrogate a rich businessman. Your executive is named Jordal Tlan. Rich, eccentric, reclusive. Stays in his private casino lounge. Only associates with droids. No visitors allowed, no weapons allowed. He'll need a reason to talk to you, to be desperate to talk to you. Is there a way to blackmail him? I think so. Use the resources you have. See those medical crates? Combine their chemicals correctly and you'll have an undetectable poison. Clan serving droids won't notice if you poison his drink. When he sweats and chokes, offer the antidote in return for cooperation. I'll do what I have to, but I make the call myself. If you like. I'm sending the formulas for poison and antidote. The important thing is to get to Tlan, get him talking about the terrorists, Cyclone, and the dissolution of Sinchet. Master Tlan requested my repairs be completed in time for tomorrow's swoop race broadcast. You are supposed to comply. I'm not a mechanic. I can't keep repairing you things when you malfunction. Then I shall inform Master Tlan of your inability to perform your duties. That's not necessary. I... Why don't you clear your memory of the last five minutes? Hey, you! Uh, this is Master Tlan's lounge. Is there something I can help you with? You've got your hands full with that protocol unit. It's nothing big. Master Tlan just likes everything to be perfect. The JT-02 is a Geonosian antique. JTO3's blasters need recalibration. The serving droid spills drinks. The droids are why I'm here. Do you mind? 
Mm, what do you want? Master Talon didn't say anyone was coming. I have got a repair order from the casino. There have been some complaints. Fine. Okay. We don't need any trouble. Just be quick, okay? Sorry, Master Chalon must have called the droid. I hope that's not a problem. I was just finishing up. Great. Hope it worked out. Natula! Natula! I can't breathe! I need my medical droids! I need them now! Master, you have two medical droids already. Idiot girl, I know when there's something wrong with me. I can't breathe! My tongue is swelling. There was something in my drink. Let me in. I'm a doctor. Who the blazes are you? I'm sorry, Master. She came to look at the droids. You pathetic creature. I've told you that I have enemies, and this is proof. This woman is trying to kill me. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. You've got my undivided attention, Blast. You know, what do you want? You're supporting an uprising against the Empire. What? No. Do, do I look like someone who cares about politics? I don't have any answers for you. Now, help me before I'm a corpse. Talk first, then the antidote. You... blast you. Back when I was with Sinshut, the company was failing. The war bankrupted us, so we had to sell everything. One of our subsidiaries developed medical technologies. Coltor tanks, Rancor stems, Cyclone, that sort of thing. But the group that bought it wasn't interested in profit. What were they interested in? They used fake names. Paid for everything in, in cash. They only cared about the technology, not the business. Yes, I knew it was strange, and no, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> Get in there and help him. Or do you just plan to let him die? I'll make sure your boss doesn't expire. <coughs> I can breathe. I can breathe again. Thank you. Alert! Life signs stabilized. Warning! Any stress or exertion is inadvisable. No more, all right? No more. I'll, I'll tell you everything if you'll... Just... just go. Finish your story, Tlan. Like I told you, Sinshat sold its medical division, Vervjan, to a group of men who kept their identity secret. They were especially interested in Vervjan's genetic modification serums. They might still be running the company, I, I don't know for sure. You haven't been in contact with them? No. Haven't been and wouldn't want to. I doubt the other Sinshat owners are any different. Vervgen used to be headquartered in the upper levels. I don't know if you care, but the building's not even there anymore. But whatever Vervgen and its owners are doing, I'm not involved. Stay out of trouble, or I'll be back. You ever come here again, I'll be ready. Hello, Cypher. Always pleasant to speak. You know, I managed to slice into the Star Cluster's holocams. I got to see how you handle field work. Your questioning of Jordal Klan was adeptly handled. You should try torturing people more often. Let's talk about the mission, please. Of course. That's why I'm here. So, now we know about Vervgen, a Sinchet Industries medical subsidiary purchased by a shadowy group of buyers. Those buyers were presumably members of the Terror Cell. The company was acquired to produce Cyclone and other technologies. How could terrorists afford to buy a company? Uncertain. It appears the Eagle's network has significant financial resources. I've located the Vergen offices, but I'm unable to obtain personnel records. Their data is very well secured. I need you to set up surveillance. Slice into public terminals around the building perimeter. And I can use Holonet resources to see and hear inside. Say we're successful. Then what? 
We analyze the situation, determine our best approach. Vervgen is located in the upper level industrial sites. The sector is overrun by corporate security. Some may carry Cyclone as a last resort. When you're done, come to Shadow Town. We'll meet in person. Watch our X out. Welcome back, Cypher. Glad you could visit. Most people in Shadow Town seek escape. Spies, assassins. Freedom is the only reason they'd help the Empire. But Imperial Intelligence isn't offering me freedom. You know why? I was wondering about that. Imperial Intelligence is scared to let me free. But the Watchers know that if I refuse to help, my mental conditioning reacts. If I disobey a superior, I get headaches. They last for days. So I may as well help you. The alternative is less pleasant. Has intelligence done that to anyone else? Oh, yes. But I know you're eager to get back to business. Now that we have surveillance, I've been able to monitor Verve Gen's activities. The results are enlightening. As we suspected, they're manufacturing Cyclone. In fact, Verve Gen is preparing a large quantity of serum for transport and distribution. They weren't testing it out in the name of science. I won't argue. But this next point is more intriguing. Vervgen's day-to-day management is expecting a visit from the owners. That's when the cyclone will be turned over. Security will increase. Employees sent home, holocams activated, internal defenses powered on. But get into the meeting unnoticed, and you'll find the terror cell leaders. Going unnoticed is my speciality. I'm aware of that. But even ciphers have their limits. With effort, we can create a cybernetic disguise combining armor, implants, and holographic technology. You would appear to be a Class V droid. Most security devices don't screen mindless droid workers. Fitted with such a camouflage system, you could walk into Vervgen unmolested. You expect me to go undercover as a droid? It's the most efficient way to get inside Vervgen. More to the point, it's the only way I can think of. I've already assembled the system's components. All that remains is to implant the cybernetics necessary to hide your life readings. I can put you to sleep with an anesthetic before making the incisions. Otherwise, we can begin. The procedure should be swift. Is all that really necessary? The implants are smaller than blaster cartridges. The disguise is needed. Really, there's no need to be squeamish. Now, awake or asleep. Keep an eye on him. If anything goes wrong, I've got my blaster out. Finished. I've inserted three implants along your spinal column. You'll never feel them. Congratulations. From now on, you'll be able to pass as a machine. Are we finished, then? We're finished. Time to move on. It won't be long before the cell leaders arrive at Vervgen. I suggest you get to the meeting. Eliminate everyone. Afterward, I'll contact you for confirmation. Good luck, Cypher. After the test results came in, we made some modifications. The serum lasts longer, and the side effects kick in later, but it's still lethal. No matter what we do, Cyclone will burn up its users from the inside out. I'm not concerned about fatalities. The men and women taking the serum understand the necessity of sacrifice. This is an important day for us. You've created a new weapon in our fight for freedom, one that we'll use to great advantage. We're all honored to hear that from the Eagle, sir. Verve Jen is your partner in the cause. How do you want to proceed? You and your men will distribute Cyclone to the cells and continue overseeing Nar Shaddaa. 
Brav Jen will remain under your watch. Wraith and Prudot will continue managing the business. I appreciate your faith in me, sir. Smugglers are ready and waiting. As soon as we're done here, I'll get the serum to them. Excellent. If we need Verve Jen again, I'll contact you. Otherwise, use your initiative. End transmission. You heard him. Grab the serum and go. Wraith and... I'm sorry, sir. I was doing a full sensor scan, and that droid over there is showing unusual readings. I don't recognize it. Certainly shouldn't be in the conference room. I'm merely going about my assigned task, Master. That's no droid. I can disrupt the hologram. Looks like we've got a visitor. Let's handle this. Chorto, we can't start shooting up Verve Gen. What do I tell the employees? Anyone from Verve Gen can leave. The Eagles people stay. I thank you. None of this was our idea anyway. Pathetic. Now that they're out of the way, we'll deal with this. Something's wrong with the internal defenses. I can't get a response. Secure the building, and don't let anyone escape. Anyone who needs a boost from Cyclone, take it. Recording function activated. Self-diagnosis. Critical. I'm going to die. I'm looking at the woman who's going to kill me. Cyborg. How convenient. You eliminated the cell leaders. Now we must remove every trace of their operation and prevent their followers from regrouping. The terrorist communications hub, the system they use to arrange meetings, store secrets, broadcast propaganda, must be destroyed. The man at your feet is our opportunity. I thought stopping the meeting would end this. There are always survivors. Terrorists scattered around Nashadar. You can deny them the resources to rebuild. I don't know anything. We can use his computer-enhanced brain to locate the hub. You'll need to route me to his cortical implant. What? You can't do that! There should be a standard interface somewhere on his skull. Connect your holo communicator, and I can slice the data inside his mind. Please, I'll tell you what you need to know. Just don't slice my brain. You played the game and lost. These are the consequences. Don't. Please don't. I'm inside. He's Aethel Yarn, born on Dantooine. Sixteen years old, he comes to Nashadar, works for the Exchange, earns his cybernetics. Nineteen years? He's recruited by the Nashadar Terror Cell, starts as nothing, but his enhancements prove useful to men higher up. They connect him to the Cell's communications hub, feed him codes and patterns. Now the coordinates are mine. Where am I going next? The hub is in the network access sector, a maze of computers and holonet transceivers. You'll have to pass the Cell's security droids to reach it, certainly within your capabilities. Once you're there, Disable the terminal. Then the Nashadar terror cell will cease to exist. <laughs> can't, can't. Consider this an act of mercy. Congratulations, Cypher. You've struck the final blow to the terror cell. Survivors will be unable to regroup. Ties to the Eagle's network have been severed. There's only one catch. Destroying the network hub sent a ripple through the holonet. Shadow Town security momentarily failed. I took the opportunity to escape. Escaping was your real goal all along. I knew working with intelligence would expand my options. It wasn't until we met that I formulated a plan. Damn son of a sow. Soon one of your watchers will notice the glitch. You'll be asked to find me. Hunt me. But I don't want you as an enemy. Tell your Watcher that I remain imprisoned. Once I'm safe, I'll share my secrets. You'll know everything Intelligence keeps from its ciphers. How do I know you would keep your end of the deal? You don't. But consider the possibilities. 
Do you want the details of the eugenics program that bred myself and Watcher 2? The aliases of your friend, Kaleo Janis? You sleazy freak. Think you can play? You are dead. You are so dead. It's yours. All the secrets. You only have to help me escape Narshadar. If you think you can turn me, you're wasting your time. I'm sorry you feel that way. No, I should be going. I have to get to my ship. You have an incoming call from your masters. Goodbye, Cypher. Cypher 9, this is Watcher 2. I'm routing this call through a half dozen city subsystems. We intercepted a set of terrorist transmissions, reporting the destruction of a company called Verve Gen. I've sent agents to scour the company's systems for additional data. It seems the Narsha Darcel has been neutralized. I just destroyed the cell's communications hub. It could have salvageable data. I'll alert the teams. There's also something else. As I was monitoring, I noticed some unusual network activity. It's possible Shadowtown's security was breached. I'm worried about Watcher X. He'd take advantage of a fault like that. That's what I was about to report. He called me before you did. Damn it all. We can't have a rogue watcher loose in the galaxy. Head for the spaceport. I'll try to delay any departures, but be fast. Nah, Shadda doesn't acknowledge Imperial authority. You're really worried about this, aren't you? Watcher XR nerves me. Do whatever you can. Watcher 2 out. That's the spirit. Let's kill that filth. Look around. Note your target. Check him for weapons, held, concealed, improvised. Now scan the rest of the area. Does he have allies? Are they hiding? Are you outmatched without realizing? I'm disappointed in you, Cypher. I offered you information that could have given you power over your masters. I knew what I was doing when I took this job. So many operatives say that. I owe you my release, but I have no qualms about us fighting. If you'd like to back out, you may. This only ends peacefully if you go back to Shadowtown. I won't do that. Goodbye, Agent. Now we reach the end. You won't make it out of this. No one ever does. Yes, that's done. I'd kick around his body, but the bomb in his head might go off. Too bad he decided to play you. If he had dealt straight, bet he could have told his keeper's real name. Keeper's not the only one he could have exposed. A lot of people know my secrets. I get around. But no one knows it all. Cypher 9, this is Watcher 2. Please respond. I need a status update on Watcher X. I'm ready to put out a general alert. The situation is resolved. Watcher X is dead. That's... that's excellent news. Well done. I'll downgrade our security status. Operations will proceed as normal. For the record, Cypher, I don't enjoy violence. But I'm extremely happy that Watcher X is out of commission. Why does he bother you so much? We had nearly the same training. But he was better than me. Smarter. I know what he was capable of. I'll send a crew to collect Watcher X's corpse. His mind and body are Imperial technology. Consider the matter closed. Records of his presence here will be erased, and you're not to speak of this further. I'll debrief you back at the ship. This is Cypher 9 to Watcher 2. Please respond. Contact authorization denied. This is Imperial Automated Defense Corps Unit CR-97. By order of Darth Jared, Lord of the Dark Council, your ship is now in lockdown. Cypher 9. The last time we spoke, I called you to Korriban. Did you misunderstand what a privilege that audience was? If I recall, you tried to have me murdered as some sort of test. Many would beg for the opportunity to serve one of the Dark Council. You've not impressed me, Cypher. You've given me no new information since your mission began, about the murder of Darth Jadis or otherwise. 
When you receive my orders, you'll do as you're told, or I'll have you flayed alive, along with everyone you know. Understood? I assure you, my lord, I've reported all my findings to intelligence. Very well. Perhaps it's not you I should blame. Now, my peers on the Dark Council acknowledge me, but they don't yet respect me, not like they did my father. To secure my position, I must have my father's secrets. The mysteries Darth Jada's never deigned to teach me. My task will be to find these secrets. Your task is to find one whom Jadis trusted. I was his only apprentice, but he favored force-blind advisors over his own daughter. Of course, most of his advisors died with him on the Dominator, but not all. Fjord Yanol stayed behind. Fjord Yanol fled to Narshida. Was he afraid of something? And why Narshida? I expect that when Jade has died, Yanol knew no one could keep him safe anymore. In a game? Maybe Yanol conspired with Jadis' rivals. Maybe he was involved in my father's death. The end result is the same. My sources have found his hideout. You will catch him and bring him to me. Until then, we are finished. Get away! I've done nothing to you! I've touched nothing on this dust ball. No talk to no one. Grab anything you need and start moving. We're not staying here. Insolent child. Don't touch me. Stay back. The Dark Council hired you, didn't it? Or the Galactic Republic. The Macrosa Order. The Huts. Uh, it doesn't matter. My master is dead. Darth Jadis is gone. I have no one left to betray. I'm not asking you to betray anyone. Darth Jorid sent me. Jorid? Ah, the idiot girl thinks she can equal her father, eh? You really don't understand. Lord Jadis must have made preparations for his death. He was power, and fire, and brilliance. The instant the Master died, I promise his contingency plans went into action. They'll bring doom to everything Lord Jadis ever touched, and I want no part of it. What kind of contingency plans? I don't know what he arranged. But Jadis would never let his death go unpunished. I won't be caught in the Master's schemes ever again. Still alive, but he's not getting up soon. Now we have to drag him to the ship. Let's load him up and get going. You know, you'd think a high-up advisor would carry a few more credits. This is Keeper to Cypher 9. I understand you're running an errand for Darth Jorid. It may not be my place to know a Dark Council member's business, so I won't ask what she wants. I only want to advise you to take care. That's unusually thoughtful of you, Keeper. These are unusual circumstances. Would that they were different. Jorid has relocated to Darth Jadis' old chambers on Drummond Cass. She awaits you there. Keeper, out. Do you think you've learned your lesson yet, Keeper? <laughs> yes, my lord. I don't like that name. You certainly haven't done a very good job of keeping your agents. Speaking of which, Cypher 9, your superior and I were just chatting. What's this about? What did he do to deserve this? It's not what he did. It's what you did. You see, in our last conversation, you said something that irked me. I don't remember what. I thought about having you killed, but then I thought, who's really responsible here? And I decided to punish Keeper. What do you plan to do to him? I don't know. I'm starting to get bored. Keeper, you can go. The Cypher and I have business. I appreciate that, my lord. As for you, Cypher, good to see you alive. It's getting dangerous. Dangerous and unpredictable. Exactly. Be careful. So, Fjord Yanol, is that him? Or is this another body for my collection? You have a body collection? I'm joking, Agent. 
Yanol and I are going to spend some time together. He's going to reveal every secret my father ever had. Expect a token of my appreciation. And expect to be called on again, my cipher. It'll give me something to look forward to. Think of it. Dream of me, and of your service to me. Transmitting security codes, this is Watcher 2 to Cypher 9. I'm glad you're back on duty. After you dismantle the cells on Balmora and Narshadar, the rest of the Terra network went into overdrive. How are they responding, exactly? Increased chatter, transfer of goods, activation of safe houses. Fascinating, really. I told you before about the Eagle's mystery weapon, the Eradicator devices. We still don't know what they are, but we intercepted this transmission. Once the devices are fully functional, I'll enter the targeting codes myself. Only then will instructions be sent. But all cells are encouraged to prepare attacks on secondary targets. Once the Eradicators cause chaos in every Imperial stronghold, you must fan the flames. Stand tall above the wreckage. Shape the destruction into a message. That is how we prevail. That was the Eagle himself. It seems the assassination of Darth Jadis was only the start. Certainly intimidating. But what does that actually tell us? Barely enough to add to his profile. There is good news. We have leads on two new terror cells, vital to the network's operation. They're your next targets. Proceed to Tatooine and Alderaan at your discretion. Your mission will continue there. Watcher 2 out. <laughs>